Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look at a bit more about masks today. And I've got this flower here and I want to be able to make the colours in here, just the purples there, brighter. I need to effectively select the areas that are there and then use something like a, a hue, saturation and luminance to bring up the saturation. So what I need to do is to select this and we'll do a new tool for doing that, which is this one over here. Where is it? That one there, the flood select tool. It's also called the magic wand, which is why it's got a picture like a magic wand there. And the way you do it is you click on this and up here, key thing to look at is tolerance. So if I start off, say, let's say, make it about 40% tolerance, the contiguous box there means it will only select adjacent pixels, nick pixels next to one another. So normally if you want just all the same colour, you uncheck that. So if I go down here and click on this, you can see it's selected a large area, but it's selected too much. So I need to reduce the tolerance here. If I change the tolerance there, I can use the slider. It won't affect it there. I can ch I have to change it down and then re-click. There, that's not bad. Maybe a little bit more. So I'll bring it up to 20 and click again. Yeah, these other areas here, I'll bring up some of that as well. So now that I've selected this, what can I do? Well, I can say I want to be able to do this. If I want to put this into a mask and then I apply that mask to an adjustment. So first of all, I'll click on the mask layer. So I've got another mask layer up here. Then I can get rid of those marching ants. So Control D gets rid of those. So that's the area that's going to get the color boost. And if I alt click on that, you can see there's the picture in the mask and you can always paint white in here on the mask to get more things in. Now then I want to get uh, another layer to do that. So I'm going to go to the background layer there. If I right click on that and say duplicate, I've got two layers on here, but I want to bring this mask in with this one here. So I shift click on the bottom one and right click there and turn that into a group. So those are grouped together, so it's not poking the hole all the way through. The mask will do unless they're in a group. And then I want to get a some saturation up on that. So I'll click on that one there and then go up to Hue, Saturation and Luminance. And then if I turn up the saturation there, it's only those colours there which are being affected, this selected area, because it's selected by the mask rather than those marching ants. So if I alt click on the mask again, you can see this is the area that is being allowed through. Remember that the, the white is like a torch shines through. It lets you see what's being done and the black blocks effectively. So it's like a dark night. However, we can also do a better way of doing this. Because this is a fair amount of work. So I'm going to go to the group there, hit delete. So I've deleted that whole group. Now I'm going to select this again. So I've got the, mark, the flood select tool. I'll click down here and that's got all that selected again. And now then all I do in one go is go to the adjustments there, go to HSL. And now I can hit control D to get rid of the marching ants and watch what happens. As I turn up the saturation here, those flowers are getting more saturated. So all that things before. It was useful to know what's going on, but this is a shortcut and it's very useful and you're going to use it all the time from now on. And the reason you can do this is if I look at the HSL here, if I alt click the HSL, here there's a built in mask. The HSL has got a mask built into it. So I can literally click that layer. I could paint on that layer and I could change what is being done here. So literally if I click back to the background so I can see it all, click on the HSL there. Now if I get a paintbrush here and if I want to apply this more I need white. So I'll right square bracket to make the, it bigger and see where I paint now. I'm painting in saturation. Of course that's not really how I want it there. 
So I'll control Z that, that, but I could go in here, left square bracket to make my this smaller, and I can paint on more of this to increase that effect. So I can fine tune it with a painting brush. And if I've gone too far there, because it's a mask, I can just switch to black and paint that back again. So, because the black removes it and the white lets that effect come through. So there you go. A really, really important step. And we'll be doing a lot more of using this as a, again. But instead of having to go through all those other steps, we can shortcut it in one go with just the adjustment. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.